No fuel shortage, they warned. No panic, they said. But no sign this morning that many had listened, with queues for the pumps starting at dawn across the south. Tempers flaring in London and pumps running dry at one of the busiest motorway services in Britain, to the frustration of drivers waiting for fuel. No fuel at all? No one. Uh, so. well, I tried probably five, six petrol stations already and they're out of fuel. This is unreal. Among those hit hardest, the lorry drivers, who unlike Britain's fuel stocks, really are in short supply. A lack of delivery drivers first caused gaps at some pumps, but panic buyings turned a blip into bedlam. This lorry driver can't find diesel to fill up, but can predict precisely the effect that will have. Affect me for your breakfast tomorrow morning when there's no milk or corn flakes. That's what's going to affect me. Now, Downing Street says that short visas could be introduced to bring in drivers from overseas to help plug the gap. And some hauliers have already been contacted by drivers Brexit forced home. You know, we're getting emails and texts and phone calls from the drivers that used to work for us um, saying, you know, when can, how can we come back? We want to come back. So, yes, they're looking for work. But time is something Gemma and Jessica never have much of trying to reach the vulnerable people they care for. Now they're also covering for colleagues who can't find fuel to get to work. And with their tanks now low, they can't get to everyone who needs them. We were in queue for 40 minutes yesterday, in the middle of our shift, trying to get petrol. We've got people that are on palliative care, bed bound, dementia, epilepsy, MS, and it could mean that they're going without the help. Motoring organisations and petrol suppliers alike are confident fuel stocks will be quickly replenished. But there's a long road ahead to fix Britain's deeper supply problems. Rachel Younger, ITV News.